up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. Y'all been wanting this video since April of 2021, but 2021 has been a fantastic year. Y'all already know, before we get started, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell and Triple H pedigree that like button for your boy Unbreakable Kicks and for this collection video. Army, right, let's get this joint to at least 4,000 thumbs up, man. We can at least hit 4,000 thumbs up for this. Let's get to it. As you guys can see, I got a plethora of Air Jordan 1s on this side of the wall, and I got some on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and start over here. At the top, we got the Air Jordan 1 shadows. Y'all already know, I'm OG all day. Shadow ones. Then we got the Air Jordan 1 black toes. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 UNCs. Now, these sat in Chicago. I still don't know how these sat in Chicago when they first dropped but go look at the price. OG Air Jordan 1 should always go higher than any hype Air Jordan 1. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Game Royals. These are like a blue version of Chicago. I was gonna get rid of these, but now that I actually look at them, I wanna keep them. It's gonna be a couple shoes in here that at first I want to get rid of, but I actually like pulling them out and looking. Nine out of 10, I'm gonna keep them. What's up? Air Jordan 1 Neutral Grays. These dropped this year. Got a lot of people's favorites. The Air Jordan 1 Mocha. This is going to be a $750 shoe by summertime. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Fearless. I honestly don't think that I will keep these right here. It's a dope shoe, but when you got so many retro ones, it's just like you can't wear them all. Got the Air Jordan 1 Blue Chill, one of my favorite women's exclusives. Out of backboards. Everybody loves Shadow Backboards. Got the Away colorway. Got the OGs and got the 3.0s. We know a lot of people hated the 3.0s, but the 3.0s is going up in value now. One of my favorite non-OG Air Jordan 1s, the Air Jordan 1 Obsidian Blue. This shoe right here really got me into the whole holding sale on YouTube. I invested like 10 to 20K in this shoe. The shoe didn't move as fast as I thought it would. I sold them and I regret it. This is my only pair left in this shoe. Next up, we got the Hyper Royals and we got the Turbo Greens. It would be no Hyper Royal if it wasn't for the Turbo Brains. I feel like a lot of people who sold their Turbo Brains regret selling these joints. Still a kind of a sleeper of a shoe, but if I have to pick between the two, I'm going to go with the Hyper Royals. High Green Jordan 1 and the Core Purple. If y'all know, you know, right? Both of these dope shoes. I feel like the 2.0s of both of these shoes did not live up to the OGs. So I don't have the 2.0s of neither one, but the OGs were way better. I got rid of my gold toes years ago, but I kept the Complex Con exclusive top three Air Jordan 1 gold toes. Did rock these to a sneaker event. The, to me, these were way better than the regular gold toes. We got the bread toes. Crazy what the bread toes actually did. I never thought that this shoe would be a $900 to $1,000 shoe. These, on the other hand, the OG Kentuckys, I got these for about... $125 on Nike.com back when retro ones were sitting. Before the craze, before people was going crazy for retro ones, these sat on Nike. Nike.com, believe it or not. Next up, we got the Homage to Homes. You got the Furman 2. This was the Chicago exclusive. These were the number pairs. This pair right here is number 361 out of 2,300 pairs. I had multiples of the non-numbered pairs, and I had two of the number pairs, but at one point I got rid of all my doubles. Then we got the Air Jordan 1 Midnight Navies. I know for a fact that these were not making it to 2022. Air Jordan 1 Navy Metallics again, just like the Kentucky Blues. Got these off Nike.com when Retro Ones nobody cared about. Again, I paid maybe like 120 for these. The Air Jordan 1 OG Black and White. I wore these to Complex Con Chicago. I wanna say that was 2019. And we got the Shadow 2.0s. These may or may not make it to 2022. Shout to the Paulus, man. I love these when these came out this year. And I also gifted my pops a pair of these for Christmas, man. So the Paulus were definitely dope. But again, since they coming out with those Air Jordan 1 yellow toes, I'm good on them. All right, y'all. Switch to the Jimi Hendrix, man. Again, shout out to wifey for the guitar. Unfortunately, a lot of y'all got it wrong, man. My favorite guitarist of all time it's John Mayer. Y'all were saying Jimi Hendrix, like, well, I stand up next to a mountain. But yeah, it's not Jimi Hendrix. Next up, y'all, we got the Travis Scotts, man. So we got the OG lows, we got the OG highs, we got the fragment highs, and we got the fragment lows. We already know, this year alone with the Travis Scotts, the madness with the releases, bro, I think it's going to be just as crazy next year. I've seen that Dior wind up postponing their Travis Scott collab 
that they planned on doing as well. So, of course, you know your boy got the Travis's in the vault. We got the not for resale. We got the yellow pair. We got the red pair. Shout out again to my boy, Soul Proprietors. They actually hooked your boy up for these for retail. Y'all know the story about these. I should have two of these in the vault. Now, again, my man finessed me because he went to Cali to pick up two pairs for me. He told me that he wasn't able to pick up any pairs, but when I checked the app, it said pairs were picked up. So he tried to lie to me because these were going for like a thousand bucks at the time. They going like triple the price right now. Both pairs of Aaron Jordan one unions. One is that I paid like 700 for these and about like 680 for these because that was market at the time. These joints, both of these are like 2,500 now. Jordan one, Chicago favorite OG. Second, we got the band from 2011 outlet exclusive. Only dropped at the outlet. These are B grades. These are B grade. The most expensive probably B grade that we will see. These are going for about, what, like two, three grand now. Retail is like 130 at the outlet. It's the heat section right here. Trophy room ones. Friends and family, shout out to Trophy Room for these, man. I mean, what more can I say about this release? A lot of people didn't get them, unfortunately. But to me, this was one of the best releases of the year. As far as the shoe, the shoe is dope. And of course, y'all know I love my Chicago. Next up, we got the Off White Europe exclusive. Man, it was, these were hard to come across. I wound up wearing these on my 30th birthday. I wore these and the Kobe 3s just because these were only released over in Europe. I want to say these were a Europe exclusive. That's what made them so tough. And of course, we know with the passing of Virgil, all of the off-whites went up in price. The UNCs, I hit like three or four pairs of these when these came out. These shot drop on sneakers app. I hit on my account, wiped the account. And back with the Foot Action app, I hit another two pairs. I wish I kept all of them. Favorite off-white of all time. I mean, it's the Chicago off-white. Hit these on the Foot Action app. For those who don't know, Foot Action app was goaded. When they had that 10-second countdown, you actually felt like you was going to get a dub. Now, for the Air Jordan 1 patent leather breads, I did hit a grade school. Most of the men pairs, we will be seeing them later. I'm going to drop a video about that because they're going back on the app. But foot action, dub, retail, first off-white, always going to stay with me. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Dior. Shout out to my boy, Sneaker Sluts. My boy's over there. So steal for these right here. We know when the Dior's first dropped, these were going like 14 grand, man. So to be able to get these for a good price when they actually drop, I ain't mad at them. And of course, I'm looking for the lows. I did locate the lows, um, but I think I still want to wait because I feel like that price is still going to go down. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Soul Fly. So that sneaker I was talking to y'all about, the sneaker that I was looking for, was the Air Jordan 1 Soul Fly patent leather. I bought them all stadium goods, and then unfortunately, earlier today, they sent me the notification saying that they couldn't fulfill the order, so they canceled it. Next up, we got the satins right here, which makes me feel like I forgot these over here. We got the satins. We got the satin royals. We got the satin brands, and then we got the Laley Mays. 9 out of 10, the Laley Mays not going to make it. I ain't going to lie. I don't see myself rocking these. I wanted to keep them because, you know, they kind of had the satin to go with the set. I'm still not 100% sure just yet, but here go the satin ones. You got the Royals, you got the Breads, and you got the satins. Hopefully, they give us a Chicago soon. Last two on the heat rack, Fragment ones. Love them. Spider-Man. I got a double up in these. My favorite 9 OG. These joints, especially after the movie. Come on now. Tobey Maguire is still the ghost Spider-Man. If y'all want to argue about that, we can talk about that later. But Spider-Man wants, and y'all see these still going up in price. A quick rundown of what we got over here. We got the Air Jordan 1 Red Metallics. Another one of those Nike.com joints that I wind up picking up for the low. Red Metallics. Then you got the Jordan 1 Nigel Sylvester's. I don't know. You know, dope collab. Will I keep these or will I wear them? I'm still 50-50 on those right now. But the Nigel Sylvester's were nice. Jordan won Rookie of the Years. Rookie of the Years, hit outlets. Wind up getting these for 120 bucks at the Nike outlet in Chicago. Y'all already see what they doing. One of my favorite packs right here. Ochre Yellows, Clay Greens, Track Red, Blue Moon. You got the best hands in the game pack. Ochre Yellows, these were overseas exclusive. The Air Jordan 1 Clay Greens dropped over here. Air Jordan 1 Red, the Track Reds overseas. And the Air Jordan 1 Blue Moons overseas as well. And all of these are up there in price. These shoes over here, it's just some Yeezys that are not important because we don't care about Yeezys right now. Next up, got the Bread Ones. 
from 2016. Got the Air Jordan 1 DBs. Y'all know I love my DBs. I got all of the DBs, but the Jordan 1 Dornbeckers right here. Got the Air Jordan 1 LA to Chicago. I should have kept all my pairs. Y'all remember the video where I took the paint off? I should have kept that pair, man. I sold them for the low ski. One of my favorite releases of the year, the Air Jordan 1 University Blues. Very clean. Quality control was just terrible on them. Air Jordan 1 Royals. Gotta have the Royals, bro. Gotta have all of the OGs in the vault. And that's it for the Retro 1s. Starting off with the Retro 2s, we got the Air Jordan 2 DBs. These probably are one of my least favorite Doran Beckers right here, the Jordan 2 DBs. Moving the tab in fast. Forgot about these right here. We got the Air Jordan 1. I'm on my years. My year 1s, we already know. To a lot of people, probably one of the dopest Air Jordan 1s to drop this year. Of course, how can I forget the retro one that has been having all of December going by storm? The Air Jordan 1 Pad Leather Breads. I mean, good luck to everybody, you know, trying to grab these. This one is going to be a tough one. I see prices going down a little bit, but then again, you know, the price is going to shoot back up. So make sure you do what you got to do to secure your pair, especially while price is kind of low right now. All right, for the twos. Don't got that many twos. Of course, Chicago's OGs. It's been about 10 years since Jordan Brand has given us another OG retro two. And I think we are well overdue for that. Man, one of my favorite, bro, the Air Jordan 2 Benz. Bruh, I've had this shoe for years and it still smells the same. Premium leather. This joint smells like a brand new car. Colorway on these is nice. This is a nice color blocker with your chocolate brown and your darker brown and your mocha, whatever colors you want to say. The Air Jordan 2 Benz are just beautiful. Next up, we got the Jordan 2 Mellows. Love the Mellow 2s, bro. Mellow was a goat when he played in Denver. And last but not least, we got the Just Dons, the Beach Colorway, the OG Blue. I wish I'd have kept that Arctic Orange, man. Arctic Orange dropped friends and family. I had them at the old crib. I didn't want to pay that much for them, size 10 and a half, and I've never seen them since. So anybody can find a legit pair of Arctic Orange Air Jordan 2, Just Dons, hit your boy up. White Cement, free throw lines, iconic. Came out All-Star Weekend a few years ago. Absolutely love them. Next up, we got the Cool Grays. Cool Grays from 2006, 2007 year. Then we got the new joints. As you guys can see, it's a difference in a variation in the gray. That's why for some reason, I don't want to get rid of my older pair because of the difference in the gray. Do the right things, classic colorway, need to retro. Jordan 3 Laser Orange, eh, these might can go. I really don't see myself rocking these, but still is a nice colorway. Air Jordan 3 Fragment, as you guys can see, tab is already starting to yellow. Jordan Brand let me down with these joints right here. Crazy thing is, I almost paid $1,500 a pop for these. I would have been so heated. I ordered some off GOAT, GOAT canceled them. Then I wound up getting them for like $750 a pop. Still paid way over for these. Here we got the Air Jordan 3 NYC's, the New York Knicks joints. I actually like these a lot. Nice colorway. Kind of look like true blues in a sense, but these were dope. Then we got the Air Jordan 3 Black Sport Royal. I think I'm going to go ahead and let these go. I've had them since like 2014 and still haven't worn them. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 3 Biohacks. Out of all of like the JTHs and things of that nature, I kept the Biohacks and I kept the JTHs. I didn't keep all the other Tinker Jordan 3s with like the Nike Air check right here, the Nike swoosh. I didn't keep a lot of those. Of course, Black Cement 3, got my double up. They not in the vault, but you cannot go wrong. This is my, this is honestly grown to be one of my favorite Air Jordans of all time. Air Jordan 3, pair of monies. Pure money 3s from back in the day, still look clean. Air Jordan 3, Katrina's. I want to say these was a social politic. I think that's the name of them. What's the name of this company right here? Like sneaker politics or social politics. Something like that. They came with like the green laces. So we got the Air Jordan 3 88s. Again, in my college days, I was rocking the shoes. I was going to school every day, wanted to have the freshest mic. So back then, you didn't have to be like, bro, you wear your shoes, you wear your shoes. I was rocking them. Now, I'll rock them if I go to like a special event or something like that. But the 88s were the first ones that had that Nike Air on the back for the threes. 
And these were going for bread back in 2013. They still probably are going for bread now. I know for a fact I had to pay resale for those joints. Next up, one of my favorites, man, the Air Jordan 3 Souls. These joints are just beautiful right here. Beautiful pair of Air Jordan 3s right here. South Korean exclusive only the tongue. Look how you got the Korean flag on the tongue. You got your Nike Air on the back. But these Air Jordan 3 Souls are very hard to find now. Of course, we gotta have the Air Jordan 3 Nike Shies. These flopped, a lot of people say they flopped, but of course, being a Chicago native, you gotta keep these joints. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 3 My Year. Again, to me, this is the sneaker of 2021. No need to kind of argue with that. My Year got on the scene with they collabs and did a lot of phenomenal things, yo. So My Year 3s, I cannot wait to see exactly what they got in store for the twos. And I wanna see if they gonna do some fours and fives as well and just keep the numbers going. Got the Air Jordan 3 Georgetowns or the Midnight Navies. These may not make it to 2022 either. Again, I got so many sneakers that a lot of these I know I'm just not gonna wear. You got the Air Jordan 3, the Denim Fire Reds, the Tokyo Exclusive. Again, just another one of them joints I know I'm not gonna wear, so these are probably gonna go too. Up a Retro 3, you rarely see. You got the Air Jordan 3, Black History Month. Another just beautiful shoe. Jordan brand really went down here with a Black History Month after these. This was the best Black History Month release they had. Of course, we got the Air Jordan 3 Fire Red. We know that they have confirmed that the Fire Red 3s with Nike Air will be dropping in 2022. So, of course, around that time, these can go. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 3 Court Purples. Again, another shoe that can go. Air Jordan 3 Mochas. I probably would keep my Mochas. We know these originally dropped in 2000. And one, and they came out again, hit outlets, all that good jazz. But the Mocha 3s are pretty nice. True Blues, y'all know they stand. I'm so glad again that Jordan Brand is giving us a fire red. So we got Black Cement, Nike Air, True Blue, Nike Air, a Nike Air, two Nike Air, three Nike Air. I got three Jordan White Cements with Nike Air. But these are the JTHs right here. My boy Mayor, when I was at his crib, he had the joints that actually had the Super Bowl date and the Super Bowl number. So he had the special, special joints. But True Blue Threes are a classic, bro. Classic. True Blue set Black Friday 2016. i never forget. Those was in the outlets maybe a week after they dropped. Next, we got the Air Jordan 3. Fear Pack. These are the Jordan 3 Fears. Nice little colorway we got on these. Air Jordan 3 DBs, DB3s, another dope Retro 3. I'd probably say DB3s is like in my top five DBs. So started with the Retro 4s. Here's the 2021 version. Here's the 2006. I got these from 2J's shop. He had flew me out for the New York store when he had his New York store. And um, I want to say I paid like 1200 for these. I paid 1200 2 J's. You hey, every time I come see you, I spend money at your store, bro. But <sighs> Lightning Fours are not getting the respect that they deserve in 2021. I feel like a lot of people are going to regret not grabbing the Air Jordan 4 Lightnings in 2021. So grab them now while prices still are less than 300 on these Lightning Fours, y'all. Next up, you think these are the military blues, right? But it's not. It's the Air Jordan 4. K54. This is one of 54. Now, I want to say they got a black tongue special as well. I'm not sure exactly how limited those are, but these are basically the military blue fours. But this was a K54 exclusive. Again, one of 54. Of course, got to shout out my brothers over there. So, still my boy Sneaker Sluts. Next up, the $900 shoe. Air Jordan 4 Black Cats. Not sure why Black Cats are 900 bucks right now, but I'm glad I at least kept my personal pair. Jordan 4 PSGs, another beautiful one. The last ones we got, the sevens, were trash, yo. PSG sevens were trash, man. We're going to get to those in a second, but the fours were actually executed nicely. Just like you got the Fear 3s, of course, you got the Fear 4s. Fear 4s were bussing at one point in time. But these joints were nice, though, man. These were really nice. Last on this side, we got the Air Jordan 4 White Oreos again. I'm not 100% why the hype is so big on these white Oreo 4s. This is a clean summer shoe, but I feel like it was better 4s that dropped this year. Like the Lightning 4s that should be 
you know, a four or five hundred dollar shoe. But I mean, we got the white Oreos. The white Oreos is a shoe that changed the Flex app algorithm. So these will go down in history as far as the shoe that low key kind of changed the game as far as the apps. Next up, OGs. White Cement Force, Nike Air on the back. Gotta love them. All Star Weekend, what, 2016? I'm gonna say 2016. Air Jordan 4 Military Blues, 2012. Air Jordan 4 Breads, Nike Air 2019. Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds, Nike Air 2020. OGs, y'all know I love my OGs, man. So we starting it off with the OG 4s. Next two is two sneakers that, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to part ways with these. You got the Laser 4s. You got the Black Laser 4s, White Laser 4s. Wearing these one time is a wrap. You know what I'm saying? It's over with wearing these because of the age. But, like, I don't know if I want to get the soul swapped on these because you don't see these every day. Red, white laser force, black, gray laser force. Two classic, iconic Air Jordan 4s. Levi's, you got the black Levi's. Hopefully my hands are clean and I don't mess these up. You got the white Levi's. And then you got the OGs. When the Levi's dropped, it was just something different. It was something new for Jordan brand, and I was here for it. The Levi's were dope. Got the Call Force, the black pair, gray pair. Gray pair is a size 10. I need to find a 10 and a half, 11 in these. These is my right size. So Call Force, they were saying that they were going to come out like a purple Call Force. It was going to be more Call Force to drop, but we never got them. So since we never got these, these are steadily climbing up in price. Of course, I like the gray pair better than the black. We got some OG remastered. We got the Columbia 4s. Then we got the Oreos. Give us leather like this every time, Jordan Brand. And we may not trip about an increase in price. Zoom in on that. Like, this is some good leather quality Air Jordan 4s, man. And again, Muggs will probably pick the white Oreos over the black. But when Jordan Brand came out with that remastered series, the first couple ones they did were phenomenal. These were great. My favorite DB of all time, the Air Jordan 4 Dorn Becker, takes me back to 2011. Being a novice in the shoe game, man, not really knowing my information, thinking I'ma just grab these at a Foot Locker, Nike exclusive. The fakes that they had on the DB4s back in the day were ridiculous. This was the first shoe that I literally spent hours on YouTube trying to see how can you decipher between a real pair and a fake pair? These right here, only way I could find these was either Flight Club or eBay back in the day. I wound up finding a seller, pay like $1,500 for these, and I got these in 20, what, 14. So I paid the ticket for these years ago. Next up, Air Jordan 4 calves. I camped out eight hours for this shoe. These dropped in finish line, and only 12 pairs were available at the time. Only 12 pairs. I was able to get that size 11, bro. And that takes it back. Like, now I won't I won't camp now. I'm done camping. Like, I feel like I put in my, you know, I put in my years of camping. Now, if I don't get them, I might just have to pay resale, bro, because them camping days is over with for your boy. But Cal Fours, man, such a beautiful shoe. Some people nickname these the New York Nick Fours, but that new buck, that blue and that orange, you got my U of I colors in here, too. These joints were just fire. A white version of these, a white leather version of these would be nice as well. Next up, we got three out of the four of the metallic pack. We got the orange at the top. We got the green. We got the purple. Purple released in the U.S., orange released in the U.S. I want to say green and red released overseas. Now, I did have the red, the purple at one point. I sold the purple and the red. Y'all know how I get. Sometimes I sell them and then I want to get them back. So the only one I'm missing now is the red pair. So anybody got a red 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, hit your boy up. Or I'm just going to wait for my man Sneaker Sluts to get a pair. So these joints was nice. Price on these have gone out the roof as well. Let's get to the Thunders and let's get to the Tory Yellows, man. This three right here was like one of the three original pieces. This was a three-piece fried hard with lemon pepper and mouth sauce on the side for my Chicago people. You know, you got the Tory Yellows. I don't think Jordan Brand will ever bring back out like a shoe like this. I don't know why, but the Tory Yellows are classic. Bring back the Thunders, and again, we already got the Lightnings this year. Honestly, could have showed these with the orange, green, and purple, but we got the Pure Money. Pure Money 4s right here. Just a clean, all-white Air Jordan. We got the Pair of Money 3s. I showed y'all those earlier. And, of course, we got the Pair of Money 4s. Now, since we got the Pair of Money 3s, Pair of Money 4s, we got the Black Cat 4s. Jordan Brand, y'all got to give us the Black Cat 3s. Like, 
Come on now, bro. Please, we need them. Last of the fours, we got the Air Jordan 4 Tourers. Love them. Love them. Think I wore these once. Wore these once in college. Jordan Brand, I'm here for y'all to redo these. I am here. But give us the Carmelo Anthony PE. I like those better. Then you got the Motorsport. Motorsport 3s. I got rid of the alternate, the black and gray version. I like these better. This right now, these probably going, what, maybe 350 400 If you throw Spike Lee's face right here, this would be a $5,000 shoe because those were the original, the ones that had the Spike Lee face on it. And then, of course, you got the cool grades that dropped last year. Now, I did have the Fire Red, the Mars Blackman. It was a Fire Red Forge with Spike Lee face on them, but I know I sold those earlier this year. All right, y'all. Y'all like, break. We seen one through four, man. Show us the P. So... Every time we go live or I do a video, y'all see the PEs behind me. And um, honestly, it all started with this one. This was my first PE that I ever laid eyes on. And I'm like, I need to get these joints. I need to get them, man. And I never thought that me getting this one would lead to me having all of these over here, y'all. So instead of, you know, my wife holding the camera, I'm gonna take y'all, you know, through my PE journey as far as what we got over here once we hit some more of these i'm gonna let y'all see what we got over there as far as drake and travis scott all right y'all so as far as like unc goes we got the ones i love how they threw like that stain gray and the ostrich skin on the ones the ones was unc georgetown marquette oklahoma and michigan i want to say those are the five and again we got the unc ones UNC threes, very close to the UNC threes that we had got last year. And because of that, you know, these actually went down in price. Generally, when Jordan Brand drops a shoe that's close to the PE, you know, price go down. But when they drop something that's not close, like the UNC fours, the price on these keep its value. These fours were clean, man. I like these way better than the general release version that we got earlier this year. I know a lot of y'all like them. And again, I've already said, if I didn't have these, I would have kept those. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 5 UNC. I wore these for me and my wife, five-year wedding anniversary when we took a trip to Miami. Bust these out, had people heads turning, man. Next, we got the Air Jordan 1 Florida Gators. Love the colorway. Colorway on the Florida joints are just, bruh, just immaculate. And you still kind of got like, Booty backstroke on these joints as well, man. Don't think the quality ain't up to par. You got the Florida Gator Fours. Florida Gator Fours. These joints are clean too. Florida did not have a Retro 3. I honestly feel like they 100% should have had a Retro 3. Next up, you got the Florida Fives. The Fives are clean. Now let's go ahead and go to Oklahoma. You got the Oklahoma Ones right here. Got the OU on the tongue. Oklahoma Fours. OU is on the tongue as well for those. As far as like the colorway, I would say Oklahoma is probably my least favorite. Probably because we already got enough red and black, red, white and black retros. So seeing like colorway like a, you know, Florida or Georgetown is kind of refreshing. Then we got the Oklahoma Fives as well. So again, Oklahoma will probably be my least favorite. Moving on over to the Georgetown ones. Nice, clean colorway. We will be getting the Georgetown OG High 85s this February for All-Star Weekend. Got the Georgetown 3s. And now y'all know why I say I really don't need the Midnight Navies down there because you got these joints right here. Them Georgetown 6s that's supposed to be coming out next year, those joints are nice too. Georgetown 5s, clean. I'm missing the Georgetown 4s. I just need the Georgetown 4s now. Again, you got older PEs, like you got the original Georgetown 4s. Those are going about 20 bands right now. So, yeah, I don't know if I will ever get those because, you know, to find them in my size is probably slim to none right now. Marquette 3s, very hard to find. Very, very hard to find. I'm missing Marquette 1s and I'm missing Marquette 5s, but I have located them and they will be here in no time. Got the Marquette 4s. Joints are clean. Marquette fours are similar to the Michigan fours, and we're gonna get to those in a second. You got the Cal State Marquette four PEs. So this shoe right here, this PE actually represented Cal State, the Cal State Bears, and Marquette. So both schools received those. 
Then we got the Marquette 13 Lowe's. One of the first PEs that I bought. I actually paid like $3,500 for those. All right, y'all. Heading up to Michigan. We got the Michigan ones. Again, dope. Michigan get a lot of love with Jordan Brand. Michigan and Oregon get the most love. Next, we got the Michigan threes. What got me on the threes was Khaled. I seen Khaled on IG Live or on the IG post. He had the Jordan threes. And my boy's English Souls actually sold him his retro threes. That's the crazy part. I got my retro threes from English Soul. English Soul sold DJ Khaled his retro threes. Next up, we got the Jordan 4 Michigans. Again, I see that they are similar to the Marquettes. Very similar. Same color, suede, new buck, whatever you want to call it. We got the Michigan 5s. There's a couple Michigans that I am missing. I am missing the um, five, 5 Michigan joints. I am missing those. And I want to say they got a sample version of these right here where the tongue is not yellow, it's blue. I just found out about those. Next up, we got the Jordan 5 Michigans. These may low-key be my favorite out of all of the fives. So out of the UNC's, the Floridas, Oklahoma, Georgetown, the Michigans. I just love that bright yellow on these. It's, it's different. Very different. They could have went with like the, you know, blue, but it would have been too similar to those. Next up, we got the Michigan PE. This is a collab between Michigan, Jordan Brand, and PSNY. The only difference between this and your retail pair is that your retail pair did not have PSNY collaboration with it. That's pretty much it. Couple other small changes. Pull tab is blue on the retail pair and the sock liner is blue on the retail pair. So between the 12s and the 3s, those were the closest to the actual general release joints. Then you got the Michigan 13 lows. I'm missing a lot of the 13 lows as well. 13 lows, I'm missing a lot of. Two lows, I have none. And it's a couple other ones that I'm missing too. Oregon 3s. Now these do come with the interchangeable Nike swoosh on the side. I want to say it came with like a cement one, a green one, a silver one, and the yellow ones that I already got in there. We got the Pit Crews, my favorite. What got me started. We got the white Oregon 3s. We got the 4s. Man, these Duckmans, yo. Duckman 4s, $12,000 shoe. Hey. When I heard that my boy Sneaker Slut had these, I had to grab them. My size two, how clean these are, bro. 12,000 well spent, y'all, I promise y'all. We got the green pair right here. Wasn't my favorite, but since it was an Oregon, I gotta get them. Now here, we got the green apple. So these are the green apple joints that we got a few years ago. Of course, you know, they didn't have the duck on the back and uh, the old one, the tongue, but it was close. We got the women's exclusive. These only released to the women's basketball team. Women basketball team only. Oregon Sixes. The electric green Sixes that we got this year was similar to these. The black pair. We got the men, Oregon Sevens. Now they do got the women's exclusive white pair. Those are on the way. One of my favorite, the black track and field 13. So you have three of these. You got the track and field, football pair. Football is my least favorite. And then you got the basketball pair. Basketball pair is so hard to find. I did come across one of my size, but the price was just out of this world. You got the 14s. You got the green track and field. These are the track and field joints. And I wanna say this is the football team, the gray pair. While I'm down here, why not talk about the Union Club? We got the Topaz Unions. We got the Guavas. Got the Norse. And we got the Desert Mall. So we got all of the unions down here as well. Coming over here, we got some off-white. Off-white twos. I still need the white pair. Off-white fours. Off-white five, cell colorway. We got the black off-whites. And down here... We got the Khaled's, the We The Best. Well, Khaled is dropping a Jordan in 2022, and I believe that it's actually gonna release to the public. So it's the year of the seven. I don't think Khaled is gonna actually drop a retro seven, but I mean, we'll see. We'll see, the We The Best joints are nice. And then we got the suede ones as well. So we've made it to the retro five. Like we ain't even halfway through, but 
We gonna work it out. So, right here we got the Air Jordan 5 Laney's, man. Laney's is a dope colorway. They came out with them reverse Laney's years ago, but they don't stand the time of the OGs. And we also got the Air Jordan 5 Bel Airs. Kind of similar to the Laney's. They came out with like an alternate version, but the OGs. So, the Bel Air 5s, bro. Another one of them shoes that just have a story behind them for me. Next up, we got OGs, bro. OG Air Jordan 5 Metallics. These hit out last years ago as well. Nike Air on the back. We are only missing one Air Jordan 5 that does not have Nike Air on the back. Next up, one of my favorites that dropped this year, we got the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls, kind of similar to the Lightning Force. I just feel like Jordan brand dropped way too many of them, but as time goes on, people are gonna wish that they held on to their Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. And <sighs> Trophy Room 5s. Now, I feel like a lot of people did not have high expectations of these because the Trophy Room 16s didn't do that high, 17s didn't do that high, so when the 5s came, I don't think a lot of people really put pressure on the fives. But, man, shout out to Upscale Crack and his crew. They photo went viral because they literally had like 50 pairs. Like, for this release, it was said that you could really just loot this release because it wasn't a lot of people trying to get them. And we know the price of these is out the roof right now, man. Damn, these are cold, bro. These trophy room fives are nice. A little bit doper than trophy rooms, I will say. It's a Jordan 5 Shanghai's. Now, when I first seen the Shanghai's, I'm like, bro, are these just a black version of the Retro 5 Laney's? I mean, it's kind of like the inverse, but these Shanghai 5's, again, shout out to Soul Steels, my man Sneaker Sluts for coming through with this pair. Shanghai 5's are under, I wouldn't even say underrated. I just feel like a lot of people don't know about the Shanghai 5's, but these joints are beautiful. Next up, we got the Ben 5's. We seen the Ben 2's, now we got to the Ben 5's. Ben 5's, the whole, wait. Bro, these bins are just. <laughs> if you got bins, you know the smell I'm talking about. The bins are just one of the retro that I say never should drop because I don't think Jordan Brand will actually give us bin quality if they were to retro these. So just leave these joints alone. Stitch 23 on the side. Y'all know how I feel about them. All the bins came with special box and they all came with dust bags. This was before our time. To keep it a buck, bins were before our time. Right now, if they were to drop Benz, I'd say Benz would be going like 500 bucks. Raging Bull Pack. So, you got the 2021s right here, but I still kept my OGs. You got the 3M version down here, and then you got the regular Raging Bulls. Still to this day, one of the best DMP packs to have ever dropped. So, you got the Raging Bull Pack right here. Want to talk about some shoes Jordan Brand need to bring back? We got the Air Jordan 5 Burgundies. Earlier this year, I did let go of my Air Jordan 5 UNCs. Again, if you've been watching me for years, you cannot pretty much name any shoe that has dropped that I did not have in the vault at one time. I had so many shoes. I let so many of them go. I hate that y'all cannot go back and check out some of the older videos, you know, so I can prove to y'all what I'm saying. But those who've been here for a while know. Wolf Gray 5s, another one. Stitch 23 on the side. Why aren't we getting shoes like this to retro, bro? Why are we getting Oreos, but we not getting these right here? Another question, answer, I probably would never know. OG, we need these. Nike Air on the back, Stitch 23. This is my favorite OG Air Jordan 5 of all time. The Black Tongue, Fire Reds. Shout out to my girl, Kicks by Esco. If y'all knew, y'all don't know who she is, man, but she used to come in the vault, do videos with me. She customized my Bel Airs because y'all remember, Bel Airs did not have laces. And it did not have holes. So it basically was just a shoe you just slipped on. It didn't have any shoelaces or anything like that. She customized mine with the Nike Air on the back to make it just a regular pair of Air Jordan 5s, man. Again, shout out to her for that. Video went crazy, y'all, man. Like, that video had like 80-some thousand. Again, y'all, it's a lot of videos that I did have up. Unfortunately, they are no longer here. It's cool. We still moving. But if y'all been here since the jump, y'all know what I'm talking about. And then we got the Fire Reds that dropped last year, man. Still nice. Dead stock. But I'm waiting on these to come out with Nike Air. What y'all know about these? We got the Air Jordan 5 K54s. They do got the black friends and family pair. Highly fake. So hard to find a legit pair of those, man. When I do come across them, again, it got to be for my main people. I will actually pick up a pair of the black friends and family K54s. But until then, I'm just going to rock it out with the OGs. These joints are nice. And if you got the Air Jordan 5, the what this? 
if you see like this green, that's where your, you know, that's where the green comes from, the Air Jordan 5 K54s. You can't have a black metallic without a white metallic. Here go the Air Jordan 5 white metallics. A lot of people's favorites. Your Air Jordan 5 Doran Becker. Do the light still work? My light still work a little bit. The light that came with it so you can actually read the words. I want to say the soul's glow in the dark as well. I haven't really taken these out in a long time, but the, if you've seen the Air Jordan 5 Transformers, those are very similar to these. Next up, you got the Air Jordan 5 PSGs. Friends and family right here. Regular pair right here. PSG fives were nice as well. Got the Air Jordan Five Fears. Out of the whole Fear Pack, the fives, the threes, and the fours, man, the fives were so much harder to get, and these were way better. Now, if you got the Air Jordan Four Topes, it kind of got like that crackle material, like the Topes have, but it just looked better on these. It looked way better on these than the fours. And then, of course, you got the Air Jordan 5 Black Grapes. I beat these joints down back in college, man. It was only one place in Champaign that had these. These were a tough grab back in the day. Greedy Fresh drove from Chicago to Champaign to grab a pair. I was able to get my size. He wasn't. No, he got a size 9. We drove back down to Chicago in, in order for him to do a trade on a, on a Facebook group to switch the size 9 for his size 13. Good days, bro. Last pair of fives that I have is the Air Jordan 5 Cement. These joints are nice, but I just don't see myself rocking these. So, yeah, these can go as well. Now, Army, since sixes are my favorite, I'm going to go ahead and ride through the sixes. We got the Air Jordan 6 Motorsport. Premium leather, premium quality. One of my favorite non-OGs in the Air Jordan 6 is the Air Jordan 6 Motorsport. Now, here we got the Air Jordan 6 White Infrared. Now, they were saying that these were supposed to come back in 2022 with Nike Air. These and the Sport Blues right here are the only OG 6s that did not get that OG treatment just yet. So, I'm here for it. Next up, you got the Cigar 6s. And, of course, you got to have the Champagne. Now, Champagne 6s glow in the dark. These joints right here, I remember grabbing these off eBay. And these sold out so quick, man. So quick, the first of the champagne cigar pack, they came with the ring on them. These right here was next level retro sixes when these joints first came out. Then right below, we got the Air Jordan 6 Brazil. These came with some horrible Chris Pauls. I'll never forget. I'm like, y'all making us pay 350. I think that pack was like 350 or 400 for that pack just to get the sixes because we didn't want the Chris Pauls that came in them. Jordan brand was dirty for that. I remember All-Star Weekend, we got these right here, these Air Jordan 6 Infrared 23. I remember seeing Rick Ross with these. I'm like, bro, these joints are nice. Still to this day, one of my favorites. Of course, you got to have a double up in the Infrared 6s. Classic. Jordan won his first ring in those. You got to have them. All the way down here, we got the Air Jordan 6 Gatorade. I did have the orange carmine looking joints. I sold them this year. But I did keep the green pair. The green pair was nice. Representing the gold moment pack or the GMP. You got the Air Jordan 6 GMPs. Wore these back in my college days as well. Another one of the dope packs that Jordan brand gave us back in the day. Which was cold because the 6s and the 7s came with this like USA like bag right here. Dust bag. Slam Dunk 6s. These were special to me. I drove from Champaign to Chicago to pick up this shoe. One of my guys at the time hit these at DTLR. And, or was it RU Villa? Could have been Villa. And I drove from, what, Champaign to Chicago. And this shoe right here was my 100th shoe in my collection at the time. So I said I could never let this shoe go. 100. This was my 100th pair. So again, I will always keep this shoe. <clears throat> Unless the price is right. Next, <laughs> next, we got the Carmines. OG over everything. Definitely did my double up. Carmines is my, Carmines is in my top three of 2021. Olympic Sixes, 2012 release. It's about time we get these again. We are expecting the Midnight Navies to drop in March, but the Olympics never can go wrong with these. I remember the whole US Olympic team had these joints and they had their names stitched in the back. What's up, Maroon Sixes, Nike Air, Classic OG colorway. I don't really think these got the love that they should have. Actually, Jordan brand really didn't have many retro sixes that really get their respect other than like the Carmines and the black infrareds. The black and UNC sixes, 
Y'all remember, I had to drive to that mall <laughs> in Gary, Indiana. And what I was calling, man, Jeepers Creepers, the Jeepers Creepers Mall, they had one size 11. These low key were limited. These UNC sixes were very limited and a lot of people slept on them. Right here, we got the DMP sixes that we got last year. Shoes are jinx. I feel like this is the reason why so many shoes get pushed back because this was supposed to have came out January 2020 and we didn't get them to like April or May of 2020. My second favorite DB of all time, the Air Jordan 6 DB. I had the original and then once they dropped these a few years ago, wind up paying resale off GOAT and I wind up getting these. So very clean shoe. Next up, we got the PSG 6, the Bordeaux 6, basically the same shoe i will be keeping the psg sixes but the bordeaux sixes i can go ahead and let them go these were not bad at all very similar to the bordeaux very similar some slight small changes but if i was to have to keep one i'm gonna keep the psgs over the bordeaux and y'all ain't already seen those y'all let's hit these retro sevens man just seeing these right here bro just these OG colorways, man, just warms my heart. I'm gonna go ahead with the Citrus 7s first. We will be seeing these again in 2022. Good thing Jordan Brand bringing them back. Just make sure that the new buck is as soft as his 2006 pair. Next, we got the Air Jordan 7 Pacific Blues. These joints is clean as well, man. Nice color, nice color. Women's exclusive, Air Jordan 7 Maze, the Maze 7s, another clean color. I worn these too, but you know, bro, you got that rejuvenator, man. Rejuvenator, keep your shoes clean. Make sure y'all clicking the link in the description section below. Take you straight to my rejuvenator page. You get a discount on everything on rejuvenator. Again, all you got to do to save money is click the link in the description section below. Take you straight to my rejuvenator page and you get discount on everything everything that rejuvenator has to offer man okay make sure y'all using that discount we got the air jordan 7 bins bin sevens is the first bin that i've ever owned and it's the one that i've worn the most as well y'all know i love my sevens and those air jordan 7 afro beats whatever them joints called in 2022 is paying homage to these air jordan 7 for the love of the game aka the olympics Basically the Olympic sevens, but it got the for the love of the game logo on the side. These are beautiful, man. Jordan sevens are nice. So underrated, bro. So underrated. We got our Raptor sevens or your dark charcoal people from 1992 because there was no Toronto Raptors in 92. Toronto Raptors didn't come till 95, but because of the colorway, we call them the Raptors now. At the Air Jordan seven, Year the Rabbits. This is Greedy Fresh's favorite retro seven. He put me on to these. Because prior to the Air Jordan 7, yeah, the rabbits, all I knew was the Air Jordan 7 hairs, in which we got right here, hair sevens. These are the countdown pack. Yep, these are from the countdown pack. You can tell by the insole right there. Countdown pack, Air Jordan 7, hairs, nice. I should have just kept the 2015 pair. I don't know why. I was going through a phase where I just wanted to get the older one because I'm like, the quality is better on the older ones but not thinking that, yeah, they older, so you're not gonna get as many wears. Next up, you got the Jordan 7 Orlando Magics. You got the date in the back as well. These came in a pack with the Air Jordan 7 DMP Raptors. We gonna get to those in a second. If y'all remember me talking about the Gold Moment Pack, the sixes, these are the sevens that came with it. I just switched out the laces. On my Jada Sneaker Guy lace swipe type stuff, swap the laces on these. Wore the skin off of these as well back in my college days. First DBs I picked up as a sneaker YouTuber, Air Jordan 7, Doran Beckers. These joints were just out of this world dope, man. Just the design, the quality, the craftsmanship on the DB7s, definitely up there with the lineup of best DBs of all time. We got the Air Jordan 7 cigars. Dope, love the gum bottom on these. The sixes and the sevens were nice. The eights were cool too, but they didn't stand the time of the sixes and the sevens, and I got rid of the, the eights, both of the eights earlier this year. <sighs> Let's move on. PSG sevens, let down. I don't think those gonna make it into 2022, bro. One of my favorite packs, bro. Let me just sit these right here for a second without breaking something. So we got these right there. You got these right here, man. Have y'all ever seen the Air Jordan 7 J2K pack, the patchwork? 
beautiful beautiful you got the filbert and you got the obsidian again these were not no shoes that just dropped it like your foot locker or you know foot action these were some exclusive joints they also got a pair of retro ones but i want to say the ones are either a, a jordan one high or a jordan one mid it's definitely not an og with the nike air on the tongue in which i did not keep but these joints are basically just the opposite of the other shoe basically just the opposite these are clean air jordan 7 french blues clean older colorway this was part of that remastered series air jordan 7 bordeaux said these are supposed to be closer to the ogs i still yet to wear them because i wear my air jordan bordeaux from 2011 all of the time they are almost unrecognizable at this point <sighs> memories memories of this shoe the air jordan 7 Miro. y'all know i proposed to my wife and these these are on that tv episode that myself and my wife was on the collector's call low key i'm gonna show y'all the episode of collector's call for those who did not get a chance to check it out i'm gonna let i'm gonna actually upload it on my channel for y'all all right we got the pack this lace pack itself that goes with the mirrors goes about 500 bucks just by itself just for the lace pack you know it kind of got like the olympic ring vibe to it just this is when jordan brand was jordan brand bro like we don't get stuff like this no more man we don't we don't we were supposed to get like a a miro ist type shoe but they wind up giving us them them dragon scale joints them joints was terrible next up the og flints and clearly you can tell these are different look at the color of this one then look at this year's version again this year older now the older version could have faded a little bit but this gray is way too dark <sighs> it's jordan brand for you bro we not gonna get the same as the older stuff it's just like they just refuse to do that here's those dmps that i was talking about the jordan 7 dmps that come with like the orlando magics got the number on the back as well we got the tinker alternates Still up in the air about these. Haven't worn them yet. Nine out of 10, I possibly can let these go. We got the Air Jordan 7 Pantone. I wore these for Mother's Day this year with my UNC merch. One of the clean ones, one of the clean joints from the Pantone pack. I had a chance of getting the Pantone 3s a few years ago, passed up on them and never seen them again. So I regret that. The Air Jordan 7 Ray Allens. These are also up in the air. Again, will I ever wear them? I'm not 100% sure. But if I know I'm not going to wear them, these are going to be gone. But still a clean, giving him his OG Milwaukee Bucks colorway. If they would have put like Ray's signature or something on the tongue, it would have been better than just having it in the inside. And stuff for the Air Jordan 7s. We got the Air Jordan 7 Cardinals. You know, as far as OG for 2022, it's not looking like we're getting any OGs, but it would have been nice to get a new pair of cards. Starting off with the eights, we're going to start it off big because I ain't got that many eights. We got the Air Jordan 8 DBs. I remember, bro, I was able to get two pairs of DB8s, man. These dropped on Nike.com, and these were tough. These were very, very tough, man, but your boy was able to cop two pairs. I like this one, but I like this one better with that snake, bro. Give me Randy Orton RKO vibes. These joints are just dope. Clean Air Jordan 8 DB. I'm going to keep it a buck. I did not know I got rid of most of my 8s. I had at least... 15 eights but i only got got the chromes right here air jordan 8 chromes steel ds clean you know classic older colorway got the aquas from what black friday 2015 these hit outlets quick bro these hit outlets dang near like the same week of course i got my babies the playoffs i'm just waiting on jordan brand to drop these with that red pool tab we may get them next year we, well, not next year, 2023, with the red pull tab, I'm here for it. Bruh, playoffs, these are so cold, man. Playoff A's do not get the respect they deserve. These are nasty. Got the Buzz Bunnies. Wasn't the biggest fan of these because the leather. Leather on these was terrible. They need to redo these as well. As far as the eights, I had like the Blaze eights. I had the Anthracite eights. I had Champagne Cigar eights. Again, I got rid of a lot of that stuff because I knew I was not going to wear them. So out of all of the ace I got, 
Most of the ones that are worn are the OG joints. Let's go ahead and move to the nines. All right, y'all. So um, we at the nines now. I'm going to get to over there at the end. So make sure y'all stay through the whole video. All right? So with the nines, let's try to speed through the nines, man. Air Jordan. That's perfect. Look at that. Air Jordan 9 for the love of the game. Got the for the love of the game stamp back there. I hate how these are starting to turn so yellow, bro. Like, this happened with the all white nines that I had as well. And I sent them out to get work, but your boy got finesse. Dude, sent the shoes out. Dude, never worked on my shoes, bro. Lifelong lesson, right? Man, one of my favorite OGs, the Air Jordan 9 Olives. Last time we seen these was 2012. Jordan Brand need to bring these out, and these was a limited release when these actually dropped. Y'all know Mello, my boy, man. We got the Air Jordan 9 Mott Mellows, clean. I forget what sneaker con I wore these to. These were paying homage to like that um, trophy he won while he was playing at Syracuse. These were just dope. Just a clean overall, kind of similar to these right here, the Air Jordan 9 DBs. I know I'm jumping a ahead a little bit but it's kind of giving me like db9 vibes both of these are very very clean air jordan 9 unc now when jordan brand said that they were going to give us a unc 9 i thought we were going to get these but instead we wind up getting these joints down here these uncs and i'm cool on these i know these will not make it into 2022 these along with the red joints the chicago boys it was supposed to be like another one of those unc to chicago type vibe but the red ones and these, I'm cool on these. Both of these, I'm going to let go. OG Playoff Nines, favorite OG nine of all time. Clean, classic Chicago colorway. They tried to dub these Space Jams when the Space Jams came out in 2016. But let's not disrespect the shoe. Then we got the Motorboat Jones, a.k.a. the Willie Nines. Boy, y'all love y'all Willie Nines, man. Motorboats, these are going to be close to the Chili Red Nines that we will be getting in February. And then we got the Air Jordan 9 University Gold. I don't think these are going to make it either. I need the charcoal nines. Those are the only OG Air Jordan that I do not have is the charcoal nines, bro. And I just have never been able to find them. I want to say last time them dropped was 2010. We talk cool gray 11s. We don't talk about the cool gray nines. Another clean shoe. Again, college days. Rock these back then. I can say we can go for another cool gray nine. I feel like a lot of people actually rock with them. Woo! Air Jordan 9 Benz, man. I got these for my birthday in 2017. I bought these for myself. So I wore them for my first sneaker con. Sneaker con Chicago, first ever sneaker con. I bust these out. Clean, bro. All the bins are nice, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Forget about the hype collabs we get nowadays. We not getting quality like the bins. Another non-OG, but just clean. Them UNCs that we got last year. Remind me of the OGs. These are keepers. These are keepers and sleepers. I hope y'all grabbed these last year when y'all had the chance. Sad to say, another pair that would not be staying is the Air Jordan 9 uh, Barons. I had the baseball ones. Y'all know the brown ones and the black ones that came in like, it was like a baseball card type package where you didn't know exactly which colorway you was getting, either the black or the brown. I had both and I sold those earlier this year. So, I don't know why I kept those, but those can go as well. The last nine is the Air Jordan 9 Kobe's. Now, they're trying to call these Kobe's. I don't think that these are Kobe's. When Kobe passed, the price on these did skyrocket. I want to say that these should have been the Air Jordan 9 Space Jam. These are giving me more like Monstar colorways. Now, it was a rumor that these were actually supposed to be like the Monstars, but because of the colorway, a lot of people dubbed these the Kobe's. And they just stuck. So these are keepers. These are definitely staying in the vault. I don't know when I will bust these out. But these joints nice. A lot of people say it's purple. Some people say it's blue. I don't know what, what color you think these is. Blue. So you say these blue. A lot of people saying that these are purple like for the Kobe's. But that's all of the nines. Let's go ahead and run through the tens. I'm kind of similar to the eights. I don't have a lot of tens. I got the DB tens right here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, these not the best looking ones, but hey, it's still a pair of DBs. Underneath it, I got the Air Jordan 10 Soul Flies. Shout out to the Soul Fly family, man. I took an L on the shot drop during the last dance. I hit up one of the owners and he sent me over the invoice and got me straight. So appreciate the Soul Fly family, bro. They looked out for your boy. Next, we got the Air Jordan 10 Shadows, classic OG colorway. It's a lot of 10s that Jordan brand need to bring back. I know my pop's favorite, the Air Jordan 10 Steels. I bust mine out once when we were in Atlanta, 
just clean. These need to come back out with the toe cap. That was rumored years ago. We never got it. And then they said we were going to get the steel tens as far as like a, a celebration for Martin Lawrence and the Martin show. We never got them joints either. So Jordan brand playing with us. Next up, double nickels. I like these over just the regular Chicago's because they got the stitch 45 on the side of them. Double nickels right here. Classic Chicago colorway. Underneath, we got the Air Jordan 10 powder blues. They're very close to the Air Jordan 10 NYC's, but still clean. Rock these once, bro. Air Jordan 10s are nice. Like that original city pack was dope. Jordan 10 Seattle's from a couple years ago. We still need the Sacramento's. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the Sacramento's. Air Jordan 10 Orlando's clean. Royal blue colorway. Go mob. Go perfect with any Sigma merch. Air Jordan 10 linens. I did have the Air Jordan 10 red steels. Wind up selling them earlier this year. I just need them to come back because those are starting to separate. And I'm just like, one wear, it's over with, man. So somebody wanted them and they grabbed them. But I had like the Bobcat 10s. I had the Shanghai 10s. I had that other city pack, like the NYC 10s, Charlotte 10s. I just let all of them go. But I mean, here we go. Air Jordan 10 linens. Make the linen so cold is just this random blue at the bottom of it. That blue jump man. Just an overall dope shoe. Seen Drake wearing these. And of course, you know, the price went up when Drake put them on foot. So that's the rest of the 10s. Army, we're going to run through the 11s. We've seen all of these before, man. But everybody love 11, so let's get to it. Air Jordan 11 cap and gown. Dope, underrated, non-OG colorway. These next, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really know, bro. Pantones literally just got too much blue. I still have yet to rock these. It looks nice with what I got on now, but that Pantone, it literally was just too much blue in those joints now what's a little bit better right here is the air jordan 11 legend blues these definitely need to come out with the high cut pattern leather this is the only og air jordan 11 that we are missing without that high cut pattern leather air jordan 11 jubilees i hope y'all got y'all jubilees 25th anniversary will never retro how can you retro a 25th anniversary shoe because it's only one time it's going to happen for a 25th anniversary 2021 cool grays Love them. If you ain't got a pair, I don't know how. It was so many of these that dropped. Hopefully, they do some restocks next year, man, so that way people can get them some pairs. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 11 Bread. This is a 2012 pair. Now, I got these signed by Kobe White that played for the Chicago Bulls. A lot of people are like, Break, why you had Kobe signing your shoes, man? Like, he ain't Jordan. He ain't, man, but you never know what the future may hold for the young guy. Next up, Space Jam 11s. From 2016, 45 on the back, purple jump man. Air Jordan 11 DMP hang tag came with the DMP sixes years ago in the first Define the Moment pack. Just a classic. I definitely wish I had the joint that actually had Jordan name going up the eyelets, but we know how rare that pair is. My favorites Air Jordan 11 Space Jams, Royal Blue Jump Man, 2009. Come out to his finest, bro. Wore these so much with a Sigma hoodie. Black Sigma hoodie, Royal on white letters. These were my go-to back in the day. The pair that I'm not that fond of because of it's just too much red. Very similar to the Pantone BDs, the Win Like 96s. I'm just cool on them, but it's so hard for me to part ways with my 11s because I literally have all of them. The Win Like 82s, clean. Clean, obsidian blue, UNC blue, white. Can't go wrong with them. Hands down, the best record of all time, 72 and 10. You can't you can't brag if you ain't get that ring, bro. That seven three and nine don't mean nothing. You got the seven two and tens. I'm still iffy on these. I love how they did the leather, you know, the Duro Buck, the patent leather combo on these. But still, overall, these could have been better. Very recent wear of mine, the Air Jordan Eleven Pinnacles, retailed at like four something. I want to say no twenty three on the back. Very similar to the Jeters. The Jeters are these, but they navy blue. 2010 cool grays right here. You got the Air Jordan 11 Adapts. I took an L on the Legend Blue pair yesterday. Nine out of 10, I'm still gonna get them in a boat. Wasn't that fond of this colorway. They definitely should have hit us with OG colorways first, but I see why they didn't because we literally just got some OGs. All right, OG Breads, one of my favorite. This is OG Bread over Concords all day but y'all know space jams from 09 is my favorite concourse from 2018 45 on the back 
high cut patent leather, beautiful shoe. Concourse 2011, I camped in the bathroom for over eight hours, still took an L on this. This started the madness. This started the camping, this started the madness. These in the Galaxy phones has the sneaker community the way it is today, but it's a lot worse than it was in 2011 in my opinion. Air Jordan 11, silver anniversary, all white joints. Some of the special pairs got a jump man right here. The regular pairs did not clean. They had these, they had the all white nines, and I wanna say they had another all white shoe for that um, silver anniversary, but I, I, I can't think of the other all white joints they had. It was these and it was the nines. And I wanna say it was one more shoe. A lot of people love them and I'm with them. Give us the Gamma 11s, high cut patent leather, beautiful. I love how they gave us that Gamma Blue, this random like taxi yellow on these, that black, these are nice, extremely nice. I saved the worst for last, you got the Air Jordan 11 Platinum Tint. These were just god awful. Um, hit outlets, they are slowly starting to go up in price now, but these didn't have patent leather. Like still give us these with patent leather, to me, and I don't want to sound funny, but these, to me, are more like a women's exclusive. Like, I feel like they would have did something like this for a women's shoe. All right, Army, so let's go ahead and knock out the 12s. Let's start down here with the Air Jordan 12 DB. Now, again, I ain't too big on these. Now, the crazy thing is about the later DBs is that they were coming out with friends and family versions. Now, the friends and family version of the DB12 was way better than the actual general release version that we got. But of course we know those went to auction and those going for some crazy bread. We got the Air Jordan 12 Rising Suns. I need to send these out to my boy Flipping Kicks so that he can actually deoxidize these and a couple other shoes and just bring these back to life. Those who know about these know that these come with the band sold. Next we got the Air Jordan 12 Gary Paytons. I'm thinking about sending these out to my boy Daniel Grant so that he can stitch, you know, the glove on these and actually get these more of a Gary Payton PE type vibe. Right next to them, we got the Air Jordan 12 game Royals, very, very close to the flu games or the breads, and that's why I'm keeping these. Next, we got the Air Jordan 12 Gammas. Man, I had to come to Chicago for these as well. These were tough to cop. Gamma 12s were tough to cop, and these were dope. Now, I didn't really like how they called these Gammas, and then they called the Gamma 11s Gamma when you know the blues were similar but these didn't have like that yellow you know so not really sure why they called these the gammas well army i know a lot of y'all want these we got the air jordan 12 cherries from 2009 yes it's been that long since we've had these and why jordan brand is playing around and not giving us those i have no clue no clue at all but we honestly should have got the cherries before we got the playoffs because the playoffs came out of 2012. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 10 years since we got them, but it's going to be 13 years since we got these. Well overdue. Well overdue. I could have sat out with the playoffs and got the cherries and been 100% satisfied. Got the brands for the flu gang. These came out in like 2016. I camped out for these. It wasn't like a long camp. I think I waited in line for about an hour, hour and a half for those, but definitely was a necessity to bring in a vote. The Air Jordan 12 wings. I had two pairs of these. I had a pair that I didn't take the paint off and it looked just like the playoff 12s. And then I kept the pair that I exposed the wings on. And these joints I cleaned. These were more like that Macklemore 12, if y'all remember those from years ago. Next up, we got the Obsidians. They gave us something close to the Obsidians. I forget what them joints were called, but those literally dropped like last year. And it had like the special box. But those were close to the Obsidians, but of course we know they are not the OGs. Another Retro 12 that may not make it is these UNC joints. I'm just good on them. I had so many 12s army, the wool 12s, Bordo 12s, Nylon 12s, um, the Chris Paul 12s. I got rid of all of them. 12s hurt my feet. I'm gonna keep it a buck. But a pack that I will keep is a PSNY. You got the PSNY, the OG Gray. You got the PSNY Bordo. And I want to say these were a Milan exclusive. 12, the Wheats. These were the second. I got those for retail off the Foot Action app. And I wind up getting these uh, next. I paid resale for these. But I remember Fabulous rocked these. And I'm like, bro, I need to get these 12s. And you got the Olive 12s. I forget where the Olive ones dropped at. But the olives was a regional exclusive as well. So you got the olive, the wheat, the bordeaux, and the gray. 
and those are the PSNY twins. Jordan Brand hasn't done anything with the PSNYs since they did the PSNY 15s, in which I sold both of those earlier this year. The Air Jordan 12 French Blues. I remember these dropped right around the time I broke my knee. I just had surgery and I couldn't get them. So one of my homeboys actually went to the store and grabbed these for me, man. So I appreciate that. Last but not least for the Retro 12s is the Air Jordan 12 Taxis. I do have the royalties, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Don't nothing to compare to the OG, man. Don't nothing to compare to these. I wore these at a sneaker con sometime in 2019, but Army, y'all know I keep my joints clean, bro. I keep my shoes clean. Go through the 13s. In 2022, they plan on bringing back the Brave Blues, but as a high cut silhouette, we do got the lows. Lows are OG, lows are from the 90s. And not the biggest fan of 13 lows, but because it's OG, I gotta keep them. Next, we got the Air Jordan 13. He got gangs, bro. I know this is Fine Line's favorite shoe classic from the movie he got game they do got a special pair out and i want to say on the inside either the inside right here or right here it actually says he got game and those are like the ray allen specials speaking of ray allen i got the air jordan 13 ray allen's right here crazy thing about this when i bought these i actually bought these off ebay and it came with the shirt and i wound up selling the shirt for like 130 dollars and this was 2016 2015, 2016, and I regret it because I'm sure that shirt is going by like four or five hundred bucks now. Next, you got the D Generation Next, the Air Jordan 13 Altitudes. These give me just straight OG D Generation Next jersey. Nine out of ten, these will not be making it into 2022 though. I'd be holding the camera saying these remind her like a Xbox. The key it is the Xbox color. Next up, what we got? One of my favorites, the Air Jordan 13 Playoff. Playoff 13s definitely need that retro treatment. Y'all can see I've been wearing my joints to the ground, bro. I absolutely love the Playoff 13s. Beneath that, we got the Cherry 13s. Now, the Cherry 13 set. Y'all let these joints sit. These came out like All-Star Weekend 2017 or something like that. And these set. Shame on y'all, bro. Shame on y'all for that. Next, we got the Jordan 13 Neutral Grays. Classic colorway, got that UNC blue at the bottom, neutral gray hits, got the Jordan UNC Jumpman on the tongue. Air Jordan 13 had the world by storm last year. The Jordan 13 flints, I got the red flints in the other room. I'm not keeping them, I'm cool on them. You don't need the red flints when you got the OGs. Similar to the Chicago 13s, you got the white Hyper Royal 13s. Y'all know I'm a sucker for anything that's OG that looks like it, so Anything that kind of resembles the OG 13, I'm all here for. So, I had to keep the Hyper Royals. I had the K54 13 lows. I ended up selling those <laughs> earlier this year, too. I sold a lot of good stuff, y'all. Air Jordan 13 clot lows. I'm not keeping these. I had these, and I had the red and black pair. Sold the red and black pair. These are going to lead to Chutney 13s, the first OG 13 that I ever laid my eyes on. I remember living on the east side of Chicago, bro, over east, man. And um, I seen a guy on 75th and Jeffrey. He had the chutneys on it. Ever since then, I always said I wanted to get these. So I do got them. Haven't worn them yet, but classic OG colorway. Sleeper of 2021, Air Jordan 13, Obsidian Blue. Look like the He Got Games, just Obsidian Blue. I'm not sure why a lot of people wasn't rocking with these, but I absolutely love these this year. Air Jordan 13, History of Flight. I've been going back and forth whether or not I'm going to sell these. We know that it's a sample of the history of flight, one through like 29, I want to say. And they all have this particular colorway. I'm cool on these. These can go. Similar to the court purples that we will be getting January 8th, we got the black Hyper Royals. Again, these remind me of the bread 13s. It's just blue, so I had to keep them. Air Jordan 13 DB. This one DB started to go down. I'm not going to lie. I'm just being honest. This remind me of the lizard from Spider-Man. And what can you wear with these? So keep it above. What can you wear? All my DBs right now are basically like just to have a collection. Jordan 13 CP3s. I'm glad that they actually dropped these with Chris Paul logos on them. I literally just wore both of these this year. I like this pair better. The home pair was actually a China exclusive. These dropped over here in the States, but they didn't do that well. But these were a tough find, and I'm glad that I actually was able to add these to the collection. Talk about going back. Air Jordan 13 wheat. Not the wheat harvest or the harvest wheat we got a couple years ago. Air Jordan 13 wheats are just a classic 
older non-OG colorway that if you were there back in the day, you know how important this shoe was, man. I still haven't worn mine, but these are Air Jordan 13 that I will never part ways with. Another OG that dropped that y'all should be ashamed that y'all let sit, Air Jordan 13 bread. How did the bread 13 sit? I would never know, but thanks to The Last Dance, a lot of his OG sneakers went up in price because they seen like what Mike actually did wearing these. Like, how could y'all go crazy for Travis Scott, my year, Hyper Royals, Royal Toes, and all this other stuff, but y'all don't care about this? I would never understand it. The granddaddy of them all for the bins. Air Jordan 13 bins, yo. I wanna say this is a size 10 as well. I need a 10 and a half or 11. I haven't seen a DS pair of bins in years. So I may be stuck with these right here. Now, all the bins were numbered as well. Just clean, bro. We will never get Jordans like this ever again. And that sucks. And that's just a sad part because prices are going up. Quality is going down. And I mean, I'm guilty of it too. I'm still buying, but the Ben 13 is... It's the granddaddy of them all when it comes to bands. 13th with the Air Jordan 13 white core purple. Again, January 8th, we will be getting the black and core purple pair of these. And I think them joints going to sell out. But these are a keeper. So if you're still watching, we got to hit the 14s. I got 115 and a 17. Then we're going to get over here to some of the other PEs and samples. <sighs> and we done. Chain should be smooth as well. Don't have too many of them. I got the Air Jordan 14 last shot. The most iconic Air Jordan 14 of all time. Just, this screams Jordan right here, the last shot. A lot of y'all favorites, the Air Jordan 14 Ferrari. I was telling Army on live early how they came out twice. First time Chicago exclusive, then it was a worldwide release. And they were trying to say like the Chicago pair was gonna be more maroon or the red was brighter, the red was different, but it wound up being the same shoe. I did not keep the University Gold, the yellow Ferraris, because they should have made those suede. And since they did it, I was cool on them. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 14 Thunders. I don't know if a lot of y'all remember these, but these were clean too. Very clean. I'm waiting on them to come out with a pair of Jordan 14 Lightnings. That would be dope as well. Next up, we got one that you rarely see, the Air Jordan 14 Linens. Women's exclusive, clean, nice, very rare. You don't see these on feet a lot. Definitely keeping these. Right here, we got those Air Jordan 4 University Reds that we got earlier, what, this year, last year? I don't even remember when these dropped, bro. But I know it's either this year or last year. These are cool. Kind of give me like black toe vibes. So these might actually survive in the vault. That's how the clock 13s will be leaving. The clock 14s will too. Not that it's a bad shoe. I just don't see myself rocking these anytime soon. You can't have the last shots without having the candy canes. Candy canes is another iconic Air Jordan 14. And the candy canes actually dropped quite a few times. I want to say 99, 2006. 2011 and then we got the recent version of these too so clearly candy cane 14s is a fan popular shout out to my boy robert crudup he absolutely loved these db 14s db 14s were dope too i would say this was the last good db that we've gotten 15s wasn't all that 12s wasn't all that 13s were god awful keeping it a buck but they actually did the 14s some justice and these were actually pretty nice air jordan 14 supreme AKA the Billie Jean is not my lover retro 14s. These would have been it if they didn't have the bedazzledness on them. Now they said that these are supposed to be, you know, close to Jordan's motorcycle jacket back in the day. Still cool. I don't think that these will ever do what people expected them to do just because they put the beast on them. But just for the simple fact that it is a Supreme 14, it's still going to stand the, the length of time. So Jordan 14 Supremes, I definitely will be keeping these. If I was to call Flight right now asking what's his favorite 14s, he's going to either say Last Shots or the Air Jordan 14 Laney's. But I will probably put more money on the Laney 14. Laney 14 lows, nice. There's so many other 14s that they need to give us. I like how they're giving us the gingers, but those are an OG high. They should have stuck with the low because the lows were an OG, but hey, I ain't gonna complain about it. Air Jordan 14 of all time. I've yet to put these on feet, but the black toe 14s, clean, sleek, just nice. I remember when these dropped, Moses is going crazy for these. Moses is going crazy for the Air Jordan 14 black toes. 
Again, still dead stock. I plan on rocking these soon. Not least for the retro 14s, you got the Indiglows and you got the Oxidize. Not the biggest fan of neither one of these, but since these are 1999 OG colorways, I had to keep them in a the vault. The last 14s right here, the Air Jordan 14. Want to say they was calling these Rip Hamiltons? No, they were calling the Cherries Rip Hamilton, but Rip Hamilton actually wore a pair of 14s similar to these. The Varsity Royal 14s, clean. Basically candy canes, but blue, definitely keeping these joints in the vault. Now, as far as Jordan 15, I only got one Jordan 15, and that's the Air Jordan 15 DB. I did have the Air Jordan 15 PSNYs, but I recently just sold those earlier this year. And as far as the 17s, I just got my Jordan 17 Low Lightnings. I did have the Trophy Room 17s. I let those go. And I had a couple 18s, but I let all those go as well. But y'all, tired of seeing regular stuff. Let's go over here and check out some more of the heat. You've seen everything in the vault. This is the last of the hoorah. So we got a couple things like the Supreme Fives. I got Supreme Fives over here. I remember, man, hitting these joints manually. The black pair, I was still working in the animal hospital. And I was on break when these dropped. And I was able to get the black pair in my size. Black pair in my size was an easy dub. And I was able to get the camo in like a size 9. I was able to get the camos in a 9. So I sold the size 9 in order to buy my size in the camo joints. So the camo joints, I wore these at a sneaker con. The black ones look more like the metallics, the black metallics, and then the white pair was, to, uh, to be honest, the white pair was the hardest pair to find. I don't know if the white pair is the rarest, but these kind of resemble the white metallics, of course, but this was the last one for me to grab. And again, these were the toughest ones. Now above those is another PE. These are the Air Jordan 9 Oregon State. These are the Oregon State Beaver Air Jordan 9s. I want to say this is the only signature like retro that Oregon State actually received. These joints are clean, they nice. I got them for a good price. Do I really, really need them? Nah, I don't, but the price was good and I want to go ahead and snag them from my boy Sneaker Sluts. All right, y'all, so we've seen PSG 4s, 5s, 6s, and the 7s. I hate them 7s. But we didn't get the chance to look at the friends and family pair of the PSG 5s clean all white leather at one point i felt like i liked it the black suede better but this leather is nice it's clean craftsmanship is dope jordan brand definitely did their thing with the friends and family version of these and i would like to actually see more friends and family psgs if they ever make it and we got the friends and family trophy rooms look just like the raging bulls basically but you got some unc blue right here with a netting system is you got jordan 23 on the right shoe marcus jordan number five on the left you got the trophy room logo back there you got your nike air 3m on these joints these joints are just absolutely beautiful come with multiple spare pairs of laces trophy room did they thing with these joints right here man call me crazy if you want both of them are worn bro Kobe Pack, I got to show y'all that episode of me on the collector's call. So y'all will really understand, man. I paid 12 grand for this. I want to say 6,000 in trades. I got to hit up Sneaker Sluts. That's where I got it from. I want to say like 6,000 in trades, 6,000 in cash. A hell of a steal, bro. When Kobe passed, I got a call and my guy knew I had these. Say, hey, Drake looking for these. He offering 40K for whoever that's going to sell him a pair. I said, no, unless Drake come in the vault, sign all of these OVOs, take a picture with your boy, I ain't letting these go. So, couldn't get it done. I wind up keeping them. I wore these at 2J's grand opening in Vegas. I wore these on my 30th birthday, man. So, never, ever will leave the collection, bro. Never, ever will leave the collection, man. These right here are special to me. This is the first shoe that I ever had a dream about. SneakerCon Chicago 2018, the night before, had a dream about these threes, and I saw them in a size nine at the event. Crazy. A couple years later, I'm owning my personal size in them and rocking them on my 30th birthday. It don't get no better than that. These are where I got my OVOs. So I know a lot of y'all like, break, where the OVO 8s? Where the 10s at? They over here. Started off with the Drake versus Lil Wayne's. You're not going to see these. Just straight up. They got the black pair. They got the white pair. Very, very hard to find. 
and very, very hard to find a legit pair, man. Um, another good find that I got last year. Still have yet to wear these. I'm going to bust these out at the next Drake concert. That's when I'm going to throw them joints on foot. You got the OVO Raptors. But, of course, I had to keep the Drake signature. I let the other pair go. These joints went up in price when the Raptors won the championship. That's when they shot dropped these. And I, I remember it was early in the morning they dropped these joints on Sneakers app. And I was able to get my dub. And they dropped these at the OVO store downtown Chicago. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 4 OVO, the splatters right here, man. I, probably one of the most expensive sneakers I paid. I paid, I know, over nine grand for these, man. It was either like 10 or 12. I, I forget what number. I got, again, hit up my boy Sneaker Sluts. But, you know, these are going about 17K now. You know, will I wear them 100%? I plan on wearing all of these joints, bro. Plan on wearing all of them. The crazy thing is that these were actually supposed to have dropped. We know Drake had left Nike and Jordan brand, and we never got them. These are supposed to be after, like, a 1989 sample. So, you know, of course, it's good to have these joints in the vault. Next up, we got the Calipari's and we got the University of Kentucky. The Calipari or the Kentucky joints, man, you got the white ones and you got the black one. The black one is very similar to the University of Kentucky joints. Of course, University of Kentucky got the UK stitch. You got the owl behind there. You got Kentucky back here as well. My recent wears at SneakerCon Atlanta, I bust out the Air Jordan 8 OVO, the Charles Oakley's. Clean, got the Toronto Raptor colorway love them again bro like when it comes to me rocking stuff i'm a rocking at special events but i'm gonna pick like a pe or something like this over a lot of the stuff that i got in a vault that's why i don't mind parting ways with this stuff because it can go to a home to somebody that's actually gonna rock them next up we got the general release ovo h now remember all of these ovos the eights the tens and the twelves were samples and the only way you could have got these samples is via flight club back in the day bro and they were taxing but these dropped general release and they did OVO raffles. I had so many people enter them OVO raffles. So many people that entered them OVO raffles until I actually was able to get a match on the size 11 on both sides. So appreciate everybody who entered the raffle for me for these, man. Of course, they stand in the vault. Next up, my first ever OVO, OVO 10. Me and my wife was celebrating our three year anniversary of just being together. And. I was literally about to pay $6.50 for this shoe. And then they shot dropped these on the sneakers app. And I wind up getting a W. We were laying in the bed. I get up screaming. I'm happy. I'm like, bro, we can do whatever you want to do today. I got these OVOs for retail. The guy was literally about to meet me at the hotel for $6.50 for these. And I wind up getting them for retail. Wind up getting a black pair for retail as well, man. And again, Back then, the only way you was going to have some OVOs is if you were buying them off Flight Club. And they were like two, three, four grand back in the day. Next up, and again, shout out to my boy Sneaker Sluts for these, man. You got the OVO Air Jordan 11. And my boy Sneaker Sluts had this one in my size and he had the bone colorway. But the bone colorway was not in my size. I'm like, bro, when you come across it, let me know. I want to say 2Js may have had the bone colorway in my size. These were 10K. Pay 10K for these right here. Anybody who got the bone pair, hit your boy up because I need them joints to complete these. These joints are fire. OVO 12s. For the longest, this was my favorite sneaker of all time. The all-white OVO 12. Again, being in college, looking on Flight Club, wishing that I can afford to get some Drake Air Jordans and to finally be able to have them, bro, is like a dream come true. White pair to me was always better than the black pairs, but... Still, just to have these joints, I need to go ahead and throw these on feet. As much as I love Drake, I'm going to go to the Drake concert and I'm going to bust out one of these PEs one day. But the 12s are timeless. Jordan 14 OVO, the God Plan joint, and the shoe I had before PJ Tucker, before he put them on foot and had the world going crazy, the OVO 16s. I had these before PJ Tucker. Unfortunately, I'm not PJ Tucker and I don't get... The spotlight that PJ Tucker gave, but PJ, if you ever see these, bro, or this video, I had these before you, fam. But you wore yours before me, so you probably gonna say that too. But these, they cool. It's a 16. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying this is the dopest in the world, but it's an OVO. It's Drake. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I feel about my OVOs, man. So the OVO 16s, yes, your boy do have these joints in the vault. And of course, I'll rock these to Sneaker Con DC, I wanna say, clean colorway.
And last but not least down there, y'all, is just some Travis Scott's. Travis Scott 6, British Khakis. Travis Scott 4, the Cactus Jacks. And the Travis Scott Alas. That's it. That's all that's in the boat. Again, Army, a lot of this stuff will not be here. Appreciate you guys. I'm sorry y'all been waiting since April for this video. It's taken a long time, but this has been the full collection video for your boy. I know in 2022, we got a lot that's going to be going on. So this will probably be my last collection video on this channel. But Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Cool Gray merch should be in in no time. OG merch should be in in no time. Y'all need anything, hit me up. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And none than that, shout out to my wife for sitting in here for three plus hours holding this camera, recording this video. So please clap it up for my wife in the comment section below. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. <laughs> Don't forget to remain humble. Greedy fresh, take us home. I'm tired and we out. I hit a breakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him. I hit a breakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. These old stuff, buddy, get him easy. Yo, it's old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.